Greetings! Today I'm going to be testing the performance of the thermal compound. And I've got a couple over here, courtesy of eBay. And those are... The silver one is GD460 Thermal Grease from GD Brand, ourgd.net. And another one, Thermal Grease HY410 from... Halzen, H A L N Z I Y E dot com. Main thing what I want to test is is this. So, this is copper grease, regular uh, copper grease used in automotive industry, and I use it normally to put on the brake pads on the back of them to stop them squealing and uh, to stop screws, nuts, and bolts from seizing up and, and whatnot. Um, it's quite handy but what this um, has is got a lot of microscopic particles of uh, copper um, suspended in, in the grease and technically I think it should make it um, quite conductive uh, thermally. Those three uh, will be put to the test and I was thinking uh, for a while, I, was, I wanted to do this video uh, for quite a while now and I had a little thought on um, how to measure this up in somewhat scientific way. Um, so this is the setup that I come up with. Here um, I've got a big heatsink, a big aluminium heatsink with a fan just uh, mounted on the back of it uh, temporarily. Um, the fan I'll plug in while the test is going to be running, um, just not to make some noise right now. Um, I've got a thermocouple that's gonna go onto the device under test or under torture um, and the device under torture is 7805 voltage linear voltage regulator from uh, junk parts bin and uh, yeah I've picked this because I figured those are horribly inefficient and this is exactly what I need in this test I need something that's gonna generate a, a ton of heat and uh, it should tolerate about 30 volts on the input um, and it's a 5 volt regulator, so it's gonna have it's, it will have 25 volts uh, drop across it. And if we draw about an amp or just under an amp from it, um, it should get quite hot pr pretty quickly. Um, the nice thing about heatsink, it uses a little clip um, to hold it in place, so it will be um, always the same pressure uh, putting it against uh, against the heatsink. Um, I've got uh, the VG here uh, connected to the thermocouple and the thermocouple I've put in a little uh, little rig that I've made out of a couple of scraps of wood um, that's that's gonna go on the tab like so um, so it's it will be measuring the temperature of the tab of the device now the idea uh, behind this is that the better compound between this and the heatsink the lower the tap temperature will be, at least I think. Uh, we'll see what comes up, uh, comes out in the test. Um, and yeah, um, there's gonna be what four runs. Um, we're gonna do a dry run with nothing in there. Then we're gonna try the the white uh, compound, the silver one, and the um, copper grease, and see what. Uh, what comes out best and what is the difference and uh, yeah, this little cheapometer here that's just gonna be measuring the temperature uh, sorry the current of uh, that that we're drawing out of the uh, 7805 and the current is gonna go into this and uh, this is just my impromptu high wattage resistor what it is it's um, just about a foot length of um, cantle wire um, a heating element wire uh, or resistance wire, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's roughly about five or six, six and a half ohms or so. And um, yeah, that's going to be connected to the output of the 7805 to just to uh, force out some uh, some current through it. So, um, without further ado, uh, I'm going to mount this up on here. Uh, as I said, uh, the first test dry and see what uh, see how hot will it get. And there it is. I've decided to add my phone as a time measuring uh, contraption. This will allow me to see uh, later refer to the temperature and how quickly was it uh, rising. 
and the voltage reg is mounted over here. The fan I'm just going to plug in in a moment. Uh, it's uh, the thermocouple shows 25 degrees, that's about right, uh, and the current will be shown on here. And this should, I presume, uh, will get uh, a little bit warm. So yeah, let me plug in the fan. Okay, we've got the fan going and I'm going to switch on the power supply that's set to 30 volts and we're gonna see what's happening so power supply on and start the temperature is rising quite quickly uh, jumped up to 68, 69, 70 degrees. If it goes horribly high, at, let's say maybe 100 degrees, I'm going, I'm going to have to maybe drop down the input voltage ever so slightly. Uh, my power supply is showing uh, 840 milliamps going into this. But the temperature rise is slowing down, so it looks like this might settle at about... 90 maybe 95 or 100 degrees we'll see okay and i've just uh, switched the power off give it a touch yeah it's quite warm but it's dropping quite uh, quite quickly the temperature so I've uh, I've stopped it from going further because uh, yeah I guess two and a half minutes measured time we see what kind of temperature it was at um, let's see if there's going to be any significant difference with uh, any um, any of the varieties of the copper of the thermal uh, grease the first one uh, let's try the GD460 I've uh, got the parts here. They've been nicely ground on a flat surface where the, uh, the voltage reg has been. Um, just to make it nice and smooth on the back. Um, I've done that before I did the first test, so there's no difference between one and the other. Uh, that at least shouldn't be a factor. So, just a little bit uh, of the grease I'm going to apply to the to the tab, make sure I get the whole surface area. There we go, perfect. That's perfectly covered, uh, probably a little bit more than needed but that's okay it will squirt out the sides so we'll put that uh, that away and let's get it mounted put the thermocouple on And the clip. There we go, ready for the next test. Okay, it's all connected, the temperature is back down to 27 degrees. Um, fan on, power supply on. Oh, I almost forgot the clock thing. Let me stop that, reset, and power supply. On. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Is it me or is the temperature rising quite a bit slower than previously?
Okay. And that's the end of the first test, and what a difference! I mean, this wouldn't even reach 40 degrees, uh, where before we were over 90, so that compound is definitely good. It, it did a great job of uh, pumping, helping the heat transfer to the heatsink. So, great! Let's change it over and try the next one up. That's all ready. I have thoroughly cleaned uh, both the part and the heatsink with uh, uh, with acetone actually to just to remove all the residue of uh, um, previous compound and that's uh, the compound in this right now is this one here the HY410 so let's give that, that a shot uh, fan on and power supply on and start Okay, 44 degrees or so, so not as good as the silver compound, but um, still uh, better than no, no compound, so um, yeah, that silver stuff was quite impressive, uh, actually. But anyways, uh, time for the mystery solution. And this is take four now, and this is the copper grease. So, uh, as before, the parts were thoroughly cleaned with acetone, and uh, let's power it up, see what happens. I do believe this is a world's first one, at least on camera. So, oh, yeah, stopwatch. Reset. And... Power on. Start. Okay, so, um, there we go, um, that was a test of uh, copper grease as a thermal compound, and um, yeah, it, it works, so it's by all means not as good as some of the other stuff that we've tested, but it works, I mean, if if you're in the middle of a Friday night and you're desperate for some sort of heating compound right now, not tomorrow, um, yeah, this is better than nothing, uh, no grease at all. So, um, if you're in a in a squeeze, uh, you could use that. But anyways, um, to my huge disappointment, it's not as good as some of the other stuff. Um, Especially this. Um, this is cheap stuff from eBay, and the performance of this was amazing. I mean, without grease, it, it reached 90 odd degrees. With this, was 30 something. Yeah. So this seems to be uh, the best stuff uh, out of my selection. Let's switch on the switch the fan off. Much better. So yeah, this. Uh, this seems to be the business and this video uh, was I think the first one of uh, testing this stuff on, on camera so if um, if you had a 
If it crossed your mind to use this as a heat sink compound, now you know whether it's suitable or not. I mean, I'll let you be the judge um, in terms of performance. Um, everything was there. So, I think that's it for this one. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more random stuff. Uh, for the time being, take care.